Hi this is Cho Shui Sha from Cisco UCS TAT team. In this video, I would like to share with you how to upgrade InterSite Managed Fabric Interconnect. Before the upgrade, consider the prerequisites listed. Only Cisco UCS 6400 series fabric interconnects in a Cisco UCS domain can be upgraded. You must have available storage in the fabric interconnect partitions for the firmware bundle to be downloaded. Only Cisco UCS domains that are claimed through InterSite can be upgraded. All servers in the Cisco UCS domain must be at license tier essentials or above. Step 1. From the left navigation pane, click Fabric Interconnects, select a Fabric Interconnect, and perform an upgrade firmware action on it. Step 2. On the Upgrade Firmware page, click Start. Step 3. On the general page, confirm selection of the switch domain and click Next. Step 4. On the version page, select the fabric firmware bundle to which the fabric interconnects need to be upgraded, and click Next. This page displays a list of available firmware bundles and information about their firmware version, size, release date, and description. The selected firmware bundle can be downloaded from the InterSight repository. If you click the advanced mode, you can see that the fabric interconnect traffic evacuation is enabled by default during upgrade of InterSight managed fabric interconnect. Fabric Interconnect Traffic Evacuation evacuates all traffic that flows through the Fabric Interconnect from all servers attached, while upgrading the system. The traffic can fail over to the peer Fabric Interconnect for failover virtual NICs. Before the traffic evacuation on a Fabric Interconnect, the user must acknowledge that all virtual Ethernets on peer Fabric Interconnect are up. Note, for Fabric Interconnect Traffic Evacuation to be functional, virtual NIC failover must be enabled in the LAN connectivity policy. Step 5. On the summary screen, verify the summary of the selected switches, the firmware version running on them, and the firmware version to which they can be upgraded, and click Upgrade. You can choose to change the firmware version by clicking back. Step 6. Confirm the upgrade request. The firmware upgrade workflow begins. In order to monitor the upgrade, navigate to Requests and click Active. Click the name of activity to check the workflow tasks. You can also check the status of the upgrade workflow in the execution flow pane. Acknowledge any messages in the execution flow pane and click continue to proceed with the upgrade. Thank you for watching.